Hi, this is Prios, showing you a massive pot from the recent PLO celebrity Cash Kings. Enjoy! And we have again, we have a straddle by Leon to 1600. So it's 1600 to play this hand. There's already 3000. The pot is straddled four times, making the game. 100, 100, 200, 400, 800, 1,600. The crocodile is limping in with a decent double zero hand. 3,000 live in the pot. Crocodile is playing. Tony G is raising with the kings. Tony raises his kings. Definitely this does not play. Kaiser is playing 4, 5, 7, 8. Ronnie joins the party with low single suited connectors. I can't blame him for that. Eight. And look who has the aces with one suit, Jack 10. And we're going to see a bang bang here. Hansen wakes up with ace ace. Definitely a dream spot for him. Having the nuts in a pot that is already bloated and where he can get in a decent amount of his stack pre flop. Raise the pot, said Leo. Said Gus. Pretty sure he said there's about 18,000 out there. Leon gets out of the way and as the crocodile just limped in, I would like to see him fold now. His hand is not good enough to get a third of his stack in preflop. That is a massive raise here. Tony made it 7000. Kaiser called. And Hansen has potted it, to making a 31,000 bet. Actions with Crocodile. He's considering a call here, and this is this is crazy. Queen Jack nine five. His spades are dead. And yet, yeah, here we go. Crocodile is in, and Tony's in. No. <laughs> Tony G's stack size is not being displayed correct. I think he has about 70k. Calling is the worst thing Tony can do. In my book he should either move in or fold. He should move in if he assumes Gus is doing this re-raise with a range wide enough. And if he's, he thinks he has mainly aces, he should fold. In my book calling is not an option here. We have 100,000 in this pot pre-flop. And the Kaiser has called. Now Ronnie has to call as well with a hand that can flop well. It's and is doing decent against aces or kings or high cut hands. 125,000 euro in the pot pre flop. This will be the biggest part of the day. Queen. The flop looks good for everyone. Or at least good enough, I would say. Tony and Gus got a, got an over pair. The crocodile has the top pair. Ronnie hits the flop best with a pair, a flush draw, and a gut shot. Four three. That's a huge flop by uh, Kaiser. He's hit. He's hit a flush draw, and he's moved all in. Flush and straight draw. He's moved in, and what does Hansen do? Wow, Hansen has moved all in. There's 300,000 in the pot, guys. Now the crocodile has top pair. He has pair of queens. He's playing 60,000 behind. And he's con no, he looked down at his chips, but he elects to fold. And Tony's not going to continue. Can't see Tony playing this hand. Pair of kings and he folds. And um, we're going to see it run twice, I'd imagine. With the money already into the pot, it is hard to find a way out for anyone. And nevertheless, the crocodile and Tony still get out of the way. Not sure if you can justify folding any of their hands, giving the insane pot odds they got offered on the flop. Now let's see who wins the pot. So far in the session, Ronnie almost always won the pot versus Gus. Let's see if the luck changes here. 
Twice they're going to run it. Gus is actually ahead with his aces, but you can see by the percentages, he's only 31% to win the pot. They want to do it four times. They're going to run this four times, so the pot will be split into quarters. And each time it's run a quarter, the pot will be awarded to the winner. And three to one is one of the one of the comments there that Kaiser's going to win by. And it's 300,000 in this pot. So it's going to be split into 75k pots. And aces are holding here. Aces are holding. And that's a straight for the Kaiser. So the first quarter, first 75,000 pot is awarded to the Kaiser. It's going to be done four times, I believe. Kaiser gone in ahead. 10 is a good card for Hansen. Still a 50-50. Anything can happen. It's anyone's guess what's going to happen here in the river. And Hansen holes there so now he gets 75 grand so they're even and now they're playing for the other 150 grand in the pot and it's going to be run twice more where are the diamonds and that's a two pair for kaiser who goes into the lead And that is a ace for top set for Gus. So now Gus has taken the lead. He is guaranteed at least half of the pot. So he cannot lose in this hand. But the Kaiser is gambling now. He needs to win to break even this last run out. Eight of diamonds. There we go. Straight flush! And it's a bonus, right? Yes, bonus. You get the middle part. You get the middle part. It's an even chop. Gus winning two run outs and Kaiser winning two outs. I hope you like my clip. I hope you like the clip I selected. If that's the case, please like or subscribe. Bye.